Hello friends, let's begin with comparison of cubic Bezier and B spline curve. If you observe there are four parameters on the basis of which Hermite cubic spline and Bezier and B spline curve are differentiated. First is degree of polynomial. In Hermite cubic curve or cubic spline curve is always represented by polynomial of degree 3. While in Bezier curve with n plus 1 data points is represented by the polynomial of nth degree. In B spline curve with n plus 1 data points is represented by polynomial of any degree up to n. That is the first. Second is relation between number of data points and degree of polynomial. In Hermite cubic spline curve, the degree of polynomial is independent of number of data points. So it is an independent relationship. While in Bezier curve, the degree of polynomial is de depends upon the number of data points. So it is a dependent. In B spline curve, the degree of polynomial is independent of the number of data points. Here it is also independent. Then third one, data required for curve. For drawing Hermite cubic spline curve, two data points at its ends and two tangent vectors are required and those also at its ends. Okay. While in Bezier curve, two data points are required at its ends while one or more control points in between are required. In between the curve, the one or more control points are required. Those are local points. For B spline curve, two data points at its ends while one or more control points or local points are required in between required. Then last one, control of a shape of a curve. In Hermite cubic spline curve, the shape of the curve is only controlled by tangent vectors. Hence, shape is not very convenient. In Bezier curve, shape of a curve is controlled by control points where single control point is moved and it affects the entire curve. So any single control point or local point we move, it will affect the curve. Similarly, in B-spline curve, the shape is controlled by the control point. Whenever a single control point is moved, it affects only local portion of a curve. Thank you. Hope you understand well.